Hi, it's Sandra, and I wanted to show you a um, some plates that I just received, and they are from Mundo de Unis. Now, if you've never ordered from this company, they are in located in Mexico, I believe. So what that means is it takes a while to get the plates that you order, anything that you order there. The plate quality, so just in case you don't know this, just in case you've never watched a video of mine that I've said this before, as far as I'm concerned, Manny Allergy is like the gold standard for these stamping plates, okay? they Their plates are absolutely just perfect. You can pick, you know, you, anybody can pick up um, images after some practice, of course, but they have the best quality plates. They're etched excellent. So, um, so then from there, um, we kind of, you know, I kind of rate them. Now, the one that, um, I'll tell you, the, one of the plates that I had nothing but problems was, was um, sugar, sugar bubbles. And um, I will never order a plate from of theirs again. Now, those are offered through Lantern and Wren. And um, with them, you, as far as I'm concerned, you maybe out of, you know, 15 images, you maybe get, you know, a few of them to work, half dozen at the most. Mundo de Unis has good quality plates. They're not as good as, as Maniology, but they are still good quality plates. So, um... Like I think I have, okay, so the, the three that I ordered here, I'm sorry, I grabbed the wrong one here. What else did I get? I got something else. Okay, so the four that I ordered here are Little Mermaid. I ordered um, Jack Skellington, Nightmare Before Christmas. And by um, accident, not accident, but I did not know that Manny Allergy was going to come out with a Alice in Wonderland. I had ordered this because I love the Cheshire Cat, and I thought these images were kind of cool with the Cheshire Cat. Here's a here's a full design of him, and here's this like little face, and then they have a shadow of him. So I thought that was cool. So those are the three um, three plates that I had ordered. Plus, I ordered this one, which was a Valentine's special deal, and from Muno de Unos and um, Unos. And this is all the little, the little um, gnomes. And I love gnomes. And I thought this is really cute. So, and I like the heart shape, which is really dumb to order a plate for, but I thought it was really cute. So I ended up getting these four plates. And by the way, I'm going to give a couple of them away for April's giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's look at these. Um, I'm gonna take these out of here. And we're gonna stamp them and see how they come out. Oh, and I love, let's, let's do, um, I also wanna do this Nightmare Before Christmas one because I love the Oogity Boogity Man. I think he is really cool. It's funny how you pick up on certain characters and that's who you like. So let me take these out and show you how they stamp, okay? I'll take out this Alice one with the, Cheshire Cat. Now, so these take, these are extremely inexpensive plates. And the only drawback is that, and they don't charge a ton for shipping, normal shipping. Um, the only drawback is, like I said, they take a long time to get. So I think these took probably mm, maybe three to four weeks to get. Um, but I don't care. I don't care how long it takes to get something. So, you know, that's just how, that's just how I am. So, um, if it takes a while, it takes a while. So let's see what these, I'm going to show you how these stamp. Now, if you were a beginner stamper, these might be kind of difficult to stamp, but if you are not a beginner stamper and, um, you've stamped for a while and even a beginner stamper, I would say, go ahead and try it. It's just going to take some practice. I'm trying to get us some something that's dark enough so that we can see this on this page. So I got the green, some green, some darker green. And let's do this, see what it looks like. So let's start off with him. Okay, now this is 
um, a negative image, so I really shouldn't have scraped that hard. But even with the scraping, it still turned out all in one piece. You see the whole image. And that to me is great. Now, if I was using sugar bubbles, I would be lucky to get par even partial images unless they have um, improved those stamps, um, those stamping plates. I will never, oops, sorry, you didn't turn out on there, but I, would, I will never ever order from them again. I just think they are such a low quality plate that um, they're, to me it's just not worth it. If you can only get a couple images out of a plate, um, then to me it's not worth it. And they're not cheap either. Um, with the shipping and everything, they are not cheap plates. So, um, and it's really bizarre because I do order, a, you know, from Lantern and Red, and I do like their products, but that brand of stamping plate is horrible to me. Okay, now here's where the Mundo de Unis kind of um, quality-wise is different than Maniology, is that they, if you run your finger across their plates, you can feel them. So they're, you know, they're not... There's little, it's just raised. You can feel it across your hand. If you do that with Maniology, you'll never feel anything over the top of it. So, but they stamp. They stamp very well. So um, I have no complaints with that. Let me get a piece of sticky so we can really see this. A sticky stamper pad here. Well, let's try this again, only let's do... Um, Let's do zero. That's another good character is zero. So we'll do zero in green. And I want to do um, one of the full images too. Okay. So here's zero and I'm going to stick him on here before I, although I'm on, okay, so there's zero. Hopefully you can see that well. Perfect. No problems with that. So that to me is an, a decent, it's a good plate. There's nothing wrong with these plates. Um, and I think they've actually um, in, increased the quality in these from the last time I used them. So let's do, I want to do these stripes too on here. Okay, I'm going to have to use a one of these stampers for that the cube ice cube stamper perfect no problems with the with the full nail either there you go so that looks that's really cool so let's do um get that off and i always now i like to take my hand on any of these any plates that i use if I'm using cotton ball to take off the polish, I always like to wipe down the plate because it seems like those little pieces of cotton get everywhere. Okay, so let's do this one. And let's do, of course, the Cheshire Cat. And I want to do him in a dark purple. So let's see what he, I want to see what this little one turns out like. Oh, that's brown. I don't want, well, I could use a brown, a brown Cheshire cat, but I'm not. Here's a good, it's a dark purple. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. Let's do this little guy, because this one you'd only have to, you could stamp in, re in purple or pink, and then, um, reverse paint the whole thing so this is kind of convenient too and there's the Cheshire cat now he turned out really good too so let's look at him on the sticky stamper look how cute he turned out I mean that is really cute I love him okay let's do his um, let's do one of these full nail ones Let's do, uh, let's do this one. Good job, Muna de Unis. You guys, I think you're getting better at your, um, 
stamps here. Oh, and I wanted, to, you know what else I wanted to do was this watch. So let's do this. Let's do this one. And then let's do this one. It both turned out good. So let's look at this. Perfect. And let's look at this. Perfect. Okay, no complaints. Perfect images. Okay, so let's move on to Little Mermaid. They have some decent size um, flounder on here, and they've got um, the crab, and they've got Ursula, and they've got the scales on here. They even have Triton on here. That's cool. Oh, and I like Ariel. This picture, I don't know. I'm hoping that this will fit on my finger. But they have a smaller version of her here. So there's a lot of good images. And look at this one with the seaweed on it. That's kind of cool, too. Let's do the one with the seaweed. See what that looks like. So if you um, go online and look up Mundo, Mundo de Unis, um, you'll see how many plates that they have and how reasonable they are um, in their prices. And don't be afraid of the shipping because their shipping is very reasonable too. Like I said, it's just playing the waiting game. So that turned out very cute too. So there you have it. Those are the, oh, let's do the gnome before I let you go. Let me, I want to do a gnome too. Okay, so that one turned out really good. And then let's do the gnome. So this one actually has some of the blue cello on there. Let's peel this off. Let's try and peel it off here anyway. There we go. All right. So there's all the little gnomes. Oh, look at this one. Now this one would be good to use with the um, stamper that you can shrink stuff with. So that one would be perfect for that. Get this light out of the way. Okay, so let's do one of these gnomes. Uh, look at, I mean, those are just so cute. We've got one that has a little balloon. We have one that has a candy cane. We got one that's, uh, here's a surfboard. Um, there's just a whole bunch of these. Let's do, let's do this one right here. This one's kind of cute. Well, they're all cute, but let's do this one. Oh, look, and they have the different, um, says Hall Halloween and spring and 4th of July. Oh, my gnome, Christmas. So they got all kinds of different lucky for um, St. Patrick's Day, fall. That's cool. I didn't even notice that, I don't think, when I got it. Okay, so the gnome turned out perfect. Let's put him on there. Perfect. And he would be very easy to reverse paint. So, um... Again, you know, don't be afraid to order from them. They're a good company. They have lots of variety. And remember, because they are from out of the country, they actually have, um, they don't have to worry about copyright. So you can find everything you, you ever wanted on this um, company's website. And there you go. It's called Mundo de Unas. There you go. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my video.